road might be a little slick and we're trying to get the TW home without laying her down and I probably should wear some long johns because I'm a little cold hey boomer buzz here world headquarters for armchair bikers TV haven't been around been on a little adventure I'll explain to you on the road what we're gonna do today is take out the 1990 TW do a little road ride See how the weather is, give you a little view of what's going on in upstate New York on December 19th, 2022. I've got the Believe shirt on. If you haven't seen this video, Armchair Bikers TV, go to the Bigfoot video. And we did capture some footage of a Bigfoot, and then this happened. So if you don't believe in Bigfoot, watch the video. And after you see this video, you will be a believer. All right, let's go hit the road on the 1990 TW200 and see how she's running. All right, it's cold out, she's cold, and well, let's go see what can happen. All right, let's take a look at the TW200, 1990. Look at her, dude. She has been pooped on. The blue is coming back from the seat that was painted with upholstery paint years ago. She is rusty. She's got the milk crate, the signature armchair biker's milk crate. Um, painted in a sweet tan, flat tan. Uh, she's had some bars put on her because the guy I had had it, bent it, bent the bars, bent the levers, broke the speedometer. Somebody at work put some stickers on for me, some scooter stickers while I wasn't looking. So I haven't removed them yet. Got a little rust on there from the salt. I put some new tires on her, a couple new tires on her. This is the third tire, maybe, and this is second probably second yeah this has been broken because he crashed it <clears throat> i didn't do that i got it back like that let somebody borrow it they taught some people to ride on it and took some uh motorcycle road tests on it and they gave it back to me and then i had to go fix it all done i've done the valves change oil had a clutch in it one clutch oh and i actually this is it yeah, this is what i did uh that is a the newer carburetor the old carburetor i go when i got it back Somebody had, because it didn't run when I got it back, I took it apart and there was parts missing. So I ordered a cheap Chinese carburetor that fits the newer version. And here's my maintenance schedule. My oil changes I just write on the side of the tank. My miles I normally write on the side of the tank, but I haven't. Keep a pencil and you fill it up with gas because there's no trip meter. No fuel gauge, no trip meter. So you just rate your miles right on the side of your tank. We got the Boomer. Boomer's back. Boomer's been down south trying to help out a buddy move south. I'm driving some U-Haul trucks down to South Carolina. But we're back. And guess what? We got some white gold on the ground. I'd like to uh, thank everybody. We're at 200 subscribers, which is probably sad for everybody else, but we're pretty happy about it. <laughs> uh, appreciate everybody, the comments are awesome and i'll give a shout out i'll have i'll have a the bearded stick put his name on the bottom but he said he had a funny comment about junior's 1100 uh, rebel video so he said in his comment that he didn't read in the owner's manual where you get the bike up to a hundred miles an hour in its break-in period so it's pretty funny if you watch watch that video bearded stick is got about 170 miles on it in the video and he's rev he's going 100 miles on it. <laughs> so anyway that's pretty funny we got some snow on the ground I have no idea what the temperature is I'm ripping LL Bean shirt jeans LL Bean sneakers as always the boomer no brain no pain and I even forgot my long johns <laughs> I got on the bike and went, oh I forgot to put long johns on so we're going to rip around on the old TW200, and she has 15,220 on the odometer, but that is its second odometer because I let somebody borrow this, and the guy crashed it and broke the speedometer, and I think at that point it had 5,000 miles on it when I got it back, and I put a new speedometer on it. So she's got 20,000 miles on her, original, never been tore apart, engine's never been down. And she has been old faithful. She's the she is the go-to winter bike. Oh, we got some flurries going on. We're going we're gonna head down to Stewart's, get ourselves a cup of coffee. 
and uh, I was going to go out for a little longer ride, but the boomer forgot his long johns. I'd like to give thanks to L.L. Bean for sponsoring me. They really don't sponsor us, but I wear these L.L. Bean shirts all the time. I have L.L. Bean sneakers, uh, and these shirts are amazing. So, if you ever got an L.L. Bean catalog, pop it open, and check out these all these fleece type shirts I have a whole bunch of them button up and I wear these things all winter but uh, anyway we're getting a little slick on the road this is probably might be an interesting ride because there's a little flurries coming down and the roads getting a little slick and it's probably below freezing now up here and I might eat shit on camera because this is perfect black ice material. God, it's obnoxious. The shield is just fogging up like crazy. TW200s, I probably had four or five of these. These bikes are fantastic. If you got a chance to pick up a TW200, get it can't go wrong bulletproof bikes will do it you know do anything if you do pick up a new one i go to i run a 42 tooth in the back and then the stock gearing up front so i, I think it comes with a i'm gonna quote unquote quote me on this maybe junior can look it up 45 or a 47 tooth 45 maybe and i drive it down to a 42 and there's 50 and i got another gear and if you had these in stock form with stock gearing, you are you're maxing out at 55 miles an hour. You're screaming. Let's see, this is a pretty flat road, so let's see what we get out of it. Yeah, I can get a little more out of it. I, you got to just rev uh, rev forth out a little more. And this is actually a little bit of an uphill. But I've had 70 out of this, a little over 70 with this gearing, and that's like I said, going from stock gearing, dropping the rear sprocket down to a 42. It was this was originally black with the pink and blue and a blue seat so and this bike has had a hard life and she doesn't complain she just keeps coming back for more so it's pretty cool pretty freaking cool so if you got a chance pick up a tw200 just a good all-around bike to have trail bike throw in the back of the truck do some trail riding with it you leave stock gearing in it it's a great trail bike the first gear is low for climbing hills all right okay it's getting dark out i don't know if this footage is even going to come out but we're going to record the ride back a little bit of it the road might be a little slick and we're trying to get the tw home without laying her down